Welcome to Computer Science 320 2014 Winter 2 Midterm 2 Practice Problem Screencasts. This is problem number 7.2. Now, we've developed an algorithm previously, and we're proving that the algorithm has the running time that we wanted, an expected running time in order n log k, using recursion trees. This is the algorithm that we're working on. We've done some annotation on that algorithm already, so I'll certainly be coming back to that. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit so that I have room to write my recursion tree and try and keep the relevant portions of the algorithm on screen as well. So as always, our recursion tree is going to start with a node at the top. Now typically we put n in, in the node at the top, but what we're really putting in is the problem size. And in this case, the problem size that's relevant is probably k. So I'm going to put k in as the problem size here. And if I need n, then I'm going to work on that a little bit later. Now what's interesting is the work at this problem size is actually proportional to n. It's proportional to k as well. I, I do have to, I didn't mention this last time, but I do have to divide the positions array up into 1 to mid minus 1 and mid plus 1 to n. That could take order k time. Actually, if we just pass low and high parameters, that will take constant time. But even if we take k time, remember, the positions array is the order statistics that we want back. So it's probably safe to assume nobody's asking for the smallest element twice which means that positions can't be any longer than a. It can only have the elements 1 through n in it, and it's safe to assume it doesn't have repeats. So that means even if we spend order k time, order k time is also order n. So that's not a problem. The trouble is if we spend order n time where we intended to spend order k, because the positions array may be much, much smaller than a. OK, so how much time are we spending in one call? Well. We spend order n, we spend theta n, so we're going to end up spending linear time here. So I'm just going to call that c times n. Now, how many recursive calls do we make? Two. One over here, one over here. And the problem sizes there are k over 2, just as we had wanted. But what's the work per node here? Well, in this node on the left, we've got the lesser array. And in this node on the right, we've got the greater array. And we don't know how big they are. So I'm going to call the lesser array to be of length i. So there's ci work here. If the lesser array is of length i, how long is the greater array? Well, the greater array is everything except what's in lesser and the middle item. So it is something like c times n minus i minus 1. Now when we add those together, we end up with ci plus c times n minus i minus 1, which is equal to ci plus cn minus ci minus 1, which is cn minus 1, which is less than or equal to cn. And what we want is cn at every level. So it's safe to put cn here, since we want a big O bound, an upper bound. It's totally safe to put cn here as the work in this level. And the same thing is going to happen every time we have a node with two children. The total length of lesser and greater in those two children is going to be no larger than the length of the array A in the parent node. And that means the total work in the children will be less than or equal to the work in the parent node. So at every level, we're going to be able to make this same argument. When we go down to the next level, for example, and we've got two k over four nodes here and to here. The total work at this level is going to be, well, it'll be c times i over here, and it'll be c times n minus i minus 1 here, actually less than or equal to those. And when we add those up, that is less than or equal to cn. So we're going to have that cn tower again. right? And the only question is, how tall is the tower? When do we get down to the leaves? I'm going to call 1 a base case here instead of 0, just because it's easier to think about. But when we get down to 1, we actually end up with two subproblems of length 0. The two subproblems of length 0 take constant time. That means the problem of length 1 also takes constant time. So it's safe from a performance standpoint to think of length 1 being a base case that takes constant time. And what is the height of this tree? Well, let's not belabor the point. It's the same thing we've seen over and over again. We divide by 2 at each level. How many times do we divide by 2 before we get down to 1? That's going to be log of k levels. So when we sum up all of the work, we're going to get cn log k. And that is an element of big O of n log k. It's actually an element of big theta of n log k. But because we've been using less than equal to's here, we just get a big O bound. 
And that is all we needed.